I mean, completely on it, on the attack, pounding the strike zone with his fastball early. I mean, you saw the numbers. It was, you know, mid upper 90s all night long, um, and it looked that way. You know, that's some of those outings we saw him. You know, in spring, I remember a couple games over in Clearwater where it was just like, you know, overmatching guys. That's what he's capable of when he has his really good stuff. Um, you know, he's mixing in his backdoor cutter really well. Um, and, you know, really good t timing. We, you know, obviously really needed that one. And for him to go out there and, and you know, just pound the zone with great stuff all night. Uh, really proud of that effort. You mentioned the timing and how you as a team needed it, but he had mentioned that he had maybe been putting too much pressure on himself the first three starts of the season. How badly did he need an outing like that? Yeah, um, and, and I know you guys have asked me a lot about him, and I, I really do feel like he's, you know, I mean, it hasn't been perfect, obviously, his first few times out, but I've never got the sense that he wasn't this guy already you know i feel like um i feel like he's transitioned i feel like he's settled in and and you know i know he wanted to be a little more aggressive and a little more um pitch with you know more more intent and confidence and he went out there and and did it himself and completely set the tone for the night with uh his stuff and just and just his pounding of the zone who else back left here Aaron, when you see that difference in Paxton, is that is there anything mechanical in that? Is it entirely an intent thing when he kind of flips that switch? Well, I think, look, there's some nights that, you know, you talk to pitchers all the time. They're going to, you know, have their best stuff, you know, however many, a third of the time, and their average stuff most of the time, and less than that, the other small percentage of time. So tonight was a night where he had it, but I think there was also um, – some real purpose to what he was doing there was there was a focus that he was going to go out and and completely be on the attack and so i think his mindset from the last couple of days probably leading up to this um and then you know getting the ball and going out there tonight and and delivering um it was really good to see uh to the right <laughs> aaron both teams came in tonight scuffling just a bit is it a little does it add a little bit more that you guys beat Boston tonight or is it just just get the W yeah I mean we're we're trying to get ourselves in order right now um, you know and <clears throat> you know even though the last into this game whatever we we'd lost four out of five or whatever it was you know had leads in all the games like there's a level of feeling like we've been close. We just haven't played the, that complete game, whether it's, you know, whether we faltered in the starting pitching or, or in the relief in the middle innings or haven't been able to add on runs. Um, today was that complete game and, um, you know, and, and Pac set that tone. Susan. What do you think a night like this does for Mike Talkman? Um, you know, I hope, I hope, you know, he – he can get a little more settled in, you know, as he goes, as he gets more opportunities, um, you know, back-to-back -back starts now, um, you know, not not the easiest draw being a lefty against Sale there, but I thought took really competitive at-bats against him, you know, obviously was able to get the ball down the line and, and then add on the home run. He's a talented player. Um, we've known that for um, – Really, I've heard his name talked about for the better part of the last year. And so he has that kind of ability. He's a really good defender in the outfield. You saw a little glimpse of the power at the plate. Um, so, you know, with opportunities, hopefully he can get a little more settled in because he, he can really he can really help us. Or the right, right. Was it more impressive to see Talkman or Shella, guys like that, have the nights they did or to get a one through nine night from the lineup, which was a bigger deal? Um, yeah, I thought, I thought up and down the lineup, I thought, I thought the at-bats were really good. Um, I thought we had some, you know, some big hits and, in some two out spots. It felt like, um, anytime you get the whole lineup contributing, you know, you know, I know sales not off to the start that, um, you know, we're used to seeing, but I, I thought he was pretty good tonight. Um, you know, he looked, he looked like he was working quick. He looked like 
you know, he had some some more in the in the fastball tank, especially when he needed it. I thought he changed speeds really well, and and the deception piece I thought was there. I just thought we we had really good at bats against him and made it difficult on him. And those those at bats came one through nine. Brian. You were high on Urshula's defense, but did you know he could make a play like that one he did in the sixth inning there? Yeah, I don't know how mu how he got that much on it when he when he slipped. He can really defend. Um, you know, you watch him pick up a ground ball, and you, you know, getting to watch him for a couple weeks up close in spring training, um, and now here early in the season. That's it's one of those things that you can tell comes really easy to him. Um, but that was a pretty special play. I, I don't know how he, how he got that much on the throw, uh, you know, kind of falling down like he did. But it was uh, it was a heck of a play and an important play at the time, you know, top of the order there. I don't know what the score was exactly at that point. But, you know, plays like that contribute to a guy being able to pitch games in a row you know you preserve the pen a little bit Th those kind of plays matter um and that was a good one george to the right aaron do you think there was a purpose with gardner getting hit no i don't anyone else thank you aaron. Okay.